All right, I just got the uh, pistons in. Uh, this is my new piston, well, my new used piston. Uh, I got all new rings. Um, so I just got these pressed in. Um, rod bolts torqued down. I got new bearings. These are the old ones. I mean, not too bad, but this one has got some debris in it or something. So I got new rod bearings, didn't touch the main bearings or anything. Um, flushed all the old cooling out. So, before I put the heads in, yeah, I'll put the heads on, I'll just put some water in here. Um, Retapped, or just ran a tap down all the head, head bolt holes just to get, um, clean up the threads and then get all the debris out of there. Alright, so I just got the oil pan on, getting ready to uh, put on the driver's side head. So we're just cleaned up that service a little more, we're gonna get the head gasket on and torque the bolts down. Alright, just got the uh, both heads on, torque them down um, with the OEM torque procedure by torquing them to 29 foot pounds and then 90. Then you release them completely, then back to 29 or 30, um, and then to 90. Or if you have an angle wrench, go to 29 to 33 foot pounds and then go 70 degrees past that. But I didn't have an angle torque wrench, so I just did 90 foot pounds. So now we're gonna put the valve covers on, um, then the lower intake, and then. Probably time it belt and start putting on the manifold, exhaust manifolds and turbos. Alright, so I just got uh, turbos on. Did you ever say turbo? Um, it's all on. Power steering pump on. So I got a new one because my old one didn't work, so I didn't have power steering for a while. So this turbo's on. Just put on this lower platinum. Just, uh, just gotta put the bolts in now. Clean it all up. Um, these are 5.15s. Uh, there's no 6.15 injectors. So we're just gonna put this on. Put uh, I gotta put that that pulley on, and then that stud pulley, and I can put the time belt on. Upper platinum, all that good stuff. All right, so just got the timing belt on. Got this lower platinum all bolted down, idler on. Um, so got the timing belt on. Oh, I always do that, sorry. And just rotated the engine twice clockwise to make sure there was no interference. And uh, we're all good. And uh, an easy way to, to put these timing belts on is what I do. Is uh, I probably should have took a video of it before, but you get it on the crank and you come over here you put it on this, you might have to rotate this backwards a little bit to get it to line up on these not on those lines. Then you get it that one, once you get that lined up, bring it back so it lines up with a reference mark. Then you put this one on, then I just slightly just put a vice grip on it so it just barely holds it. You don't want to mess up the belt. Leave this idler off and then come over on this side. Yeah, loosen this. Uh, you obviously have this piston. Um, We'll have this in all the way. There's a bolt hole right there to retract this piston. Um, but you un uh, unscrew this and you can actually turn this idler this way to give you more play. So then you can turn, actually, turn these cams back to get them on and then you'll have enough play to actually turn it forward. So you can easily slide this belt over the idler, bolt that down, bring that back up, and then put the, release this bolt. So the piston comes out and rotate it twice. The piston will come out, put tension on it, and we're set. So I'm probably gonna put the intake, the upper intake manifold on now. All right, so I got this upper platinum all put on, torqued down. Um, last time when I when I turboed it, I uh, had it steam clean, so it just got a little dirty. So I just took some super clean, tried to clean it up again. So I'm gonna put the timing belt covers on, which are a little dirty, so. Clean them up. Uh, I gotta put the put them on, and then I can put coolant passages or coolant tubes on. 
um, harmonic balancer, and then should be about it. And I can get it off the stand, hook it up with the tranny, and drop her in.